Polymer Clay TV. I'm Elisa and today I have a really fun project. I'm going to show you how to put together a magnetized little succulent planter and it's gonna be so cute. You're gonna love it and let me start by saying you can do this with anything you want. You could do it with some stamp designs, you could do it with some silk screen, some stenciled, whatever it is that, that, that interests you. I'm going to be working with a silk screen and uh, like I said, you can use whatever you want. You're going to need a cookie cutter and, and you'll see why and it'll depend on what size your little succulent planter is on what size cookie cutter you need. So you will need one round cookie cutter. And I have these little bowls. These are not like the little ring bowls. This is much taller. So this was ideal for what I was going to do so that's why I'm using these. I have one of the Rare Earth, R-A-R-E, Earth magnets. They're really strong. Um, that's You want a strong magnet. You don't want something that's going to fall off because then there goes your succulent plant <laughs> and it's a mess. So you want a good strong magnet. I'm going to use some Bacon Bond today and this is by Sculpey. And the reason why I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you um, is because I'm going to pre-bake part of this. So that I can be ensured that my succulent planter comes out exactly how I want it. So you'll see that as well. And then you will need an X-Acto knife and a blade to work with. And that's really all you're going to need. It's not, there's not much to this project. I've already conditioned and this clay. This is going to be my back of my succulent planter that holds everything in, which we don't need right now. But um, this is going to be the front of it. And this is just silk screen on black clay using white acrylic paint. That's all it is. And I did a flat sheet based upon what size I was going to make my succulent planter. So all you want to do is kind of figure out the, your succulent planter. And I did this by laying it right on there. And I am going all the way up to the lip because that's going to help me shape it. And you're not going to need all of this, obviously. So you want to cut off one side where you want it so you know exactly where you want it there and it's going to be you're basically making half of it and the back part will be flat so let me get this lined up here and so I'm going to go about right here and I'm not going to cut it all the way down because I'm going to pull it off and do that it makes it easier to cut that way so I'm going to go ahead and cut off continue where my line was there and do that on both sides. Don't get rid of your your extra. You're going to use some of it. Either way, don't ever get rid of your extra. <laughs> you always can use polymer clay. Okay, so that's it. As simple as it was. Um, let me just remind you that if you're using a silk screen or anything with the paint, you have to make sure it's completely dry because you don't want to mess it up. So now I'm going to just lie it back on here. Okay? And you can see it's kind of making a shape of like a little planter. So I want to figure out how far I want to go with this because if I went like this, I'm going to have a buckle. I could bend it around and have a buckle and that's not what I'm looking to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see where I'm going to go to, which is probably around here, and I'm going to then cookie cut that circle out. So right about here, I'd say. So I'm going to cut that out and all the way you know, you're gonna have to improvise with this based on your shape but I'm the cookie cutter helps to get that rounded shape here and you know as you go you can tweak things so back again onto our form so it's the way we want it and see how now I can now push it down onto the form and it it now is not buckling so that's why I use that cookie cutter and I mean you can continue to cut it because we're a little if you want because we're gonna now go to the sides here this is cleanup mode and you want to go straight you want your planter to have a straight line on both sides so now you can see how it's going to be a front of a planter um, or you can kind of get an idea there 
And at this point, you just want to clean up the top. If there's any clay over the edge here, you want to get that all cleaned up. And then it's ready to be baked. Just make sure there's no air pockets or anything. And if you want to clean up the bottom at, at all, make sure to do this before you get it in the oven. But see, I now have a nice little area where I can come back in. Actually, I'm going to do this now before I bake it. It'll make it easier. Actually, I have this little piece here that I could stick in there, like so. And really, you just want to make sure that, that your two pieces are blended so that, you know, when you water your succulent plant or you put soil in there, there's no, it's not coming out. <laughs> and so this is just, you're not going to use all this. This is just to give it that bottom. And again, we're going to come back and cut this straight. Like so. Sorry, guys. Like so. I mean, you can make any adjustments you need to after it's been baked. If You can always still cut the clay and you can always um, still actually sand it if you needed to to make it work. But this, I found, really worked well for me. But, you know, do what works well for you. So let me, I have one in the oven now. I'm waiting for it to come out. And when that comes out, I'll show you and you'll have a better idea of what we're, what, what we're doing moving forward. But I'm going to go bake this now. So we're ready for the next step. Okay, so here's the fun part. You can see here, this one is already done. It's complete. I've added a back onto it. And all I really need to do is glue this magnet. And I would use Weld Bond. W-E-L-D-B-O-N-D. -E and, and I wouldn't bake my magnet because that can actually demagnify it. And that's all there is to it. So let me show you the rest. And uh, you have a really cute planner. So this one I baked. Now you want to pull your form off generally before it's cooled completely. It makes it easier to get off. That's what I did. Now as you can see, I've done two different shapes here. You can do whatever shape you want. It's it's you know it's how what you're going to plan to put in it. This is much bigger than this guy, as you can see. With actually, let's see if I can use this same. Yeah, I can use this same piece. I don't even have. I don't even need to use this blue that I had here. Um, because it's, I'm not going to need that much. So let's finish up here and let me show you basically what you need to do to finish it. Now I showed you we were going to use some bacon bond and the reason why I want to use the bacon bond is because I'm taking clay that's already been baked and I'm adhering it to clay that has not been baked. So this will just help solidify it and make sure that it sticks really well together. So. It's a little awkward for me to be doing this upside down, but I'm gonna try the best as I can here. Um, basically, what I start is by pushing it into the base of the clay. And I do that because I want a nice firm indentation and make sure that it's gonna stay there. And then you can just use your X-Acto knife and come around and trace off any extra. And of course, save those extras, you know. Now I'm just making a very basic, you know, with 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 the cane, with the um, silk screen. I'm not going any steps further. You could totally embellish these any way you want, and they'd be super cute, whatever you do to them. But right now I'm just showing you the basic technique. Okay, so it might be better to work on this because it's going to be hard to get up. Let's see. Okay, so you can kind of see from there. I've made my back. And so now I want to pull it apart, and I, this is where I'm going to add my bacon bond. So I made a little kind of like a channel that is going to go back in. I'm going to have to clean it up later. I did with the last one. But just so you have the idea there, that's where you're going to place your bacon bond in your little channel. Actually, you want to make, let me, before we do that, let's make sure this is straight across. It just looks better when it's straight. But like I said, even if the clay is already baked, you can still cut it and, and do different things to it so clay it's not like working with an earthen clay that's so hard that you can't so our bacon bond is it's clear and you just want to put a little a little bit you don't need a lot just go follow along that little seam that you made there you don't want to put it all in the middle there because that's you want to leave open that we're not trying to close that we need our pocket to put our our uh, succulents in and that's all there is to that. 
And then I want to just come back here. It's a little messy. And then I'm going to place this right onto that in the same spot, preferably, where I had it before. And you might have to pick it up and maneuver it a little and make sure that there's no gap here where the clay, where, you know, any kind of soil or whatever you decide to put in there can come out. So you want to just kind of work it a little so that you, you have these closed ends. It may take a little bit. Don't worry about, you know, getting it exact now because you can always clean it up. And that looks about good there, I'd say. Make sure you get it at the top. So you just basically want to have a little pocket. And when I put this down, I'm going to flatten the back. So at this point, I think I'm just going to make sure all my edges are completely sealed and then cut off any extra I might have at this point. And I shouldn't have too much extra, just like little stragglers. And like I said, afterwards you can go ahead and, and cut anything off if you need to. So then you want to get ready to bake again. So you're going to place this down and just kind of stick your finger in there and if you can't get your finger in, put a blade in there and make sure that the back part is, is flat to the surface it's going to be baked on because you want that back part to be flat. You can easily fit it on a, a refrigerator that way and uh, have a cute little succulent. It's really that simple. So make it in different sizes, make it in different colors, make it with different silk screens and stencils and stamps and pigments and really the sky is the limit. You know, at this point all I have to do is bake it and then once it's done baking, glue on my magnet and I'm as good as gold. And add my little succulent. So I think I'm going to put a little soil in here and just a little succulent that won't overpower, you know, my refrigerator and make it too heavy. Just something really simple and cute. And these make awesome gifts, let me tell you. If you're going to someone's house or whatever, um, or there's a housewarming party or a little party, a little, a little succulent in a handmade, you know, container that goes on the refrigerator is really a cute idea. So I hope you'll have fun. We have um, these actual little um, bowls in the shop. I'm not sure, I haven't put them in there yet, actually. I'm gonna put them in uh, before this video goes live. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna call them. I think I'll call them taller. So look for the taller um, bowls because we have a set of two small ring bowls. These are much taller than the ring bowls and you need something like, like this if you wanna do it. But like I said, if you can find something else, by all means use it. You don't have to use these exact. And you will get, depending on what shape you use, you'll get a different shape vase. So have fun with it, and if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything, and come on over to polymerclaytribe.com, share whatever you make. You can find all of the products at createalong.com, including these silk screens and the bowl. So thanks a lot, and I will see you next time.